multicollinearity is a very important topic uh, in regression okay what is multicollinearity before looking at uh, multicollinearity uh, let's uh, go back to the multiple linear regression uh, there are two key assumptions uh, in multiple linear regression one is that uh, data has to be normal and uh, there should not be any multicollinearity in the data set which is what we are going to be uh, covering now okay so what is this multicollinearity how it impacts uh, the multiple linear regression and for that matter any regression model is of uh, interest for us okay uh, as i have indicated uh, earlier uh, if the number of data points are more right the data tends to be normal this is a key point that you all need to note as the data number of data points increases data tends to be normal this is known as the uh, law of uh, large numbers right this is known as the law of large numbers and multicollinearity should not be there so what is this multicollinearity multicollinearity means an independent variable okay if it can be predicted from another independent variable for example we have y equals x1 x2 x3 x4 so on up to xn right here this is the dependent variable and all these are independent variable for example if i can predict x3 from say x4 right that means there is relationship between x3 and x4 right because i can predict uh, x3 from x4 that means there is a relationship one of the assumptions in regression is there should not be any relationships whatsoever between my independent variables let's go back to the you know uh, insurance uh, charges example right this is an example that we have been seeing insurance charges is dependent on age bmi sex applicant income co applicant income uh, region and many other parameters right so the uh, and uh, smoker or non smoker right these are the factors uh, that we have been considering to find out the quantum of insurance charges suppose for example if the co applicants income can be predicted from applicants income as an example or if an applicant income can be predicted from let's say age right let's say age okay age and applicant income if they are correlated that is i can predict applicant income based on age it means that there is multicollinearity in the data set and the multicollinearity is caused due to the relationship between age and applicant income right that is what i indicated by predicting x3 based on x4 or vice versa right so there is relationship between age and applicant income applicant income increases with age so just with age you know i can predict the applicant income so that means there is relationship between age and applicant income that means there is multicollinearity okay so if multicollinearity is uh, there it impacts accuracy so ideally in our uh, for the uh, multiple linear regression or regression per se uh, multicollinearity should not be there okay so this is a key test that you need to do you can fit the model but what if there is multicollinearity that is there is a relationship between two or more variables two or more independent variables that is the most important thing right so this is known as multicollinearity i don't want multicollinearity so the factors that are involved in multicollinearity right the factors causing multicollinearity i must ideally remove them right and rerun the model okay 
So that is the consideration as far as multicollinearity is concerned. Okay. So how will you find multicollinearity? You will use uh, a concept known as variance inflation factor, which can be obtained from stats model dot stats dot uh, outliers influence uh, library. Okay. So I am basically uh, you know uh, creating a function to compute variance inflation factor for each of the independent variables under consideration right so if you look at you know these are the factors applicant income loan amount co applicant income you know all these are considered you know and i compute variance inflation factor right wherever vif or variance inflation factor is high it is indicating multicollinearity right in this case loan amount term okay loan amount term is high you know it is about 10 point something so that means this factor is involved in multicollinearity so i must remove this right so the factors that are high right anything more than 5 itself you know the the you know multicollinearity is there okay but anything more than 10 we must remove them so what i do is i'll first remove loan amount term and rerun the model and compute the accuracy okay now even if the accuracy is not improving significantly what i do is i have removed this loan amount term right i compute vif again variance inflation factor again now i will get a new set of vif right like this could become you know 9 this could become 12 right so on and so forth right this may become you know like 11 so credit history and gender you know should be removed so that is how i go about Remo remember this is an iterative process i do this again and again and again okay until my accuracy improves remember our uh, goal is accuracy right that is the key consideration for us so multicollinearity is a key concept in this i use variance inflation factor okay and i anything more than 10 i remove and then i rerun the uh, model look for accuracy if the accuracy has improved well and good if it has not improved significantly or as much as i desire i rerun this vif again and then compute accuracy right then when i run uh, vif again i will remove factors uh, with high uh, vif and then compute uh, you know rerun the model and i compute right so this is what we do you know in the concept of uh, uh, you know multicollinearity a very very important factor and as i indicated we use this library and using this library you know you can uh, easily identify the variance inflation factor you know this should not take time at all okay so again i am repeating this is a very very important consideration in regression okay not just for multiple linear regression but also applicable for logistic regression right that means there should not be a relationship between independent variables i should not be able to predict one independent variable based on another independent variable okay remember we are using the term independent right that means what each of these variable is independently influencing the dependent variable not together right we are using the word independent right so i should not have multicollinearity in my data set